So I'm the wrong guy for a balanced take on this game because I was pretty excited from the first trailer seven months ago. But you're here for a biased take anyway, so first up, was it good? Did I have fun? Yeah! It took me a little bit to get used to the controls and various other mechanics, but I'll do my armchair developer bit at the end. The demo is a small slice of the game, but it's definitely enough room for you to figure out if you can vibe with the controls as well as the core gameplay. Gameplay that is best described as American Truck Simulator meets Jalopy. Excluding story. I got no idea if there's going to be a plot or a narrative. Absolute zero reads on the direction they're going there, but the gameplay though, that's where the good stuff is. So base level, driving the truck feels amazing. It has a ton of weight, takes forever to get to speed, but it's terrifying when it gets there. High marks. You can do some acrobatic stuff without your trailer, which is fun. They do solve the classic space trucker problem, which is, how do you get the player to drive in space? Because most space trucking games have you teleporting from POI to POI, but thankfully, Space Trucker found a good middle ground. There are warp gates that travel long distances to other zones, however, each zone has a massive debris field filling it. So instead of just looking somewhere and driving straight, you have to look around for the, where the roads go from station to station and follow those. You can drive through the debris, but you fill up with holes. Thankfully, the demo doesn't care if you hit zero durability on your ship, it just covers your ship in holes. Which lets me talk about the second layer of gameplay, the jalopy influence. You can get up and wander around your cabin, which is fun, but parts of your ship can break down and need to be replaced with either bionicle tins or hard drives. But it goes a layer deeper. You can EVA from your ship, and even better, you can find piles of salvage out in the world and EVA over to them and loot them. Thank you devs, by the way, for letting me hot swap between keyboard and controller. I know not everyone drives with a controller and does on foot segments with their keyboard, but I appreciate the devs for considering this playstyle. So we have the ATS style mission economy, but you can randomly find scrap and garbage out in space. Frankly, really cool system. Scrap selling wasn't available in the demo, most places were locked up, but I can identify that a soldering spool is probably a sellable. Then again, I didn't realize until my second run that there was a map. Oh, the armchair developer part. Couple of bugs, you can end up with junk in front of your chair, which I know you can just turn the gravity off and shake it loose, but man, I kinda wish I could just strap stuff down with cargo straps. I found you could become a telepath with the side of your truck. Outside of bugs and just personal tiny nit to picks, your glove compartment has a service manual, and I want to be able to read that. When my gravity turns off, I ended up blundering around my ship before I found the stair release and fixed the issue. The tutorials are implemented well, they only show up when a system is broken and describe how to fix it. However, I'd like a tab in the pause menu called service manual that has all the possible issues broken down by type, or even clone real life service manuals and have that fun classification flowchart where you find the solution to your problem by ruling out all the other possible problems it could be. Small issue, but the arrow that points toward the highway should be green and instead of red. Red combined with the symbol makes me think there's a highway policeman instead of trying to aim me toward the highway. Altogether, this demo is pretty neat. I love slower paced grind focused games, and if this game utilizes the CB radio for story elements while traveling from station to station, that'd just be awesome. 